You're still watching Prime One, and it's time for Prime Insight. And today we are going to be talking about the BC results. The results are in. Some are excited, others are crying. But you know what? We did wish everyone well. Uh, some bruha has come out, but obviously we have to answer all the questions. Sometimes we blame Wayek for things that they don't have control over. Do we appreciate how Wayek works? Well, all that we don't know, Wayek is here to tell us about it and to let us understand what goes into, you know, uh, the calculation, what doesn't go in there, the data of who is passing and who is not passing. I remember chancing on a post on Facebook where a lady was saying that her nephew is an A-class student, but unfortunately, when the results came, the nephew got threes and fours, and she was like, no, there's something wrong with Wayek. How did Wayek mark the papers this year? There's something wrong. Don't worry at all. Today, we are bringing that conversation. Let's get interactive. You can send in your messages on our WhatsApp line, and we'll read it live on air. When it's time for us to activate the phone lines, we'll do so so that we can hear your voice. My guest for today is Reverend Victor Brew. He is the head of legal at Wayek, and he's here to answer all your questions and our questions as well welcome Rev thank you very much how are you today we are well thank you grace is abundant that's good and thank you so much for being here this morning my pleasure let's talk about the results in general this year that's yeah. the first thing yeah. how was the performance of the young ones well I guess um, they will have to speak for themselves I must say because they have received the results and uh, they know how they fared um, YX's role is to bring the test, to supervise, and to make sure that the test is, um, is one that we can vouch for mm -hmm. as uh, the quality and uh, what it delivers in terms of the results are a true measure of the performance of the candidate. So that's our duty. But after we are done, uh, it's up to the candidates, the school authorities, parents, to judge for themselves whether the candidates did well or not. Mm. But on the general scale, if we compare this year's results to last year's results, on the general scale, did they do better than last year? It's difficult to say. Difficult in the sense that the BEC, unlike the WAS, or what people normally call WASC, even though the right pronunciation is WAS, uh, has a different grading system from the WAS. Okay. And uh, perhaps most examinations. Uh, the BEC has what you call the Stanheim grading system uh, uh, used to grade the candidates. And as against the WAS, which has the criterion reference grading system. The Stanheim grading system is sometimes referred to as a norm reference grading system. And this is how it works. So each year, or each cohort um, would have to be considered and not compared with a previous cohort. So mm -hmm. 2022 cohort uh, would be graded on their own and their performance would not be compared or should not be compared with the previous years. And somebody will say, how come? Exactly. I was going to ask, how come? Because that's how we can tell the teachers that you are doing well or you are not doing well. Okay, great. So this is how it works. The standard grading system takes 2022 candidates and uh, uses a deliberate policy to grade the first 4% as having obtained grade 1 okay. or aggregate, I mean grade 1. Mm. And then the next 7% would have obtained grade 2 and in that order until 9 and in the standard grading system, nine is lowest. There's not a fail. And uh, this is not from WAIC. It's a, a, a government policy. Okay. We collaborate with government to implement uh, the grading system. So if the first 4% are to get one, mm -hmm. what it means is that if you took mathematics, unlike English, you know, mathematics, someone can get 100%. Mm. You see, so... What happens is that um, your candidate or the champion in your school in maths gets 80% during your mock trials or 89. Mm -hmm. But then when you join forces with the candidates across the country, the question is whether your champion in maths in your school 
um, can beat all the champions across the country, such that your champion falls within the first four percent. So it is not according to how you performed. No, I don't understand. No, because so it's both. Okay, so if I should still go there and still get eighty, but the four percent is within the range of ninety, then it means I don't get a one. Is Correct. that it? Correct. So what happens is that you got 80, your raw scores show that you are good. Uh -huh. But then you are good in, say, in your, you are a local champion. But then you go and meet people from Ashanti region, Northern region, and then there are other good candidates. So 100, 99, 98, 97, up to your 80. So once the 4% is achieved, then you pray that your 80 falls within the 4%. Otherwise, you come to grade 2. Has it always been like that? It has always been like that. Wow. Yes. Okay, continue. Then you come to grade 2. And grade 2. Mm. And then the next 11%, grade 3, and so on and so forth, up until 9. So now it's possible that in a certain cohort, if the candidates don't do very well or the 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 performance of the individual candidate is scattered. So you have the topmost person getting 100. Mm -hmm. The next gets 80. So you will see that there's a, a scattering. But once we have the top 4%, so it could be 90, 89, 70, mm -hmm. 50, 6, if you, 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 you don't get the first 4%, it keeps going. But once oh, you get... To that the 4%, then... It stops there. It so it can even there. go as low as 40. If I have you haven't not seen, gotten... I've not seen uh, that, <laughs> but uh, with the standard grading system, That's that how is it how it, it works. So in a certain year, you see that, uh, you know, schools come protesting that my candidate is very good. We did a number of mocks. They had 89, 80, we don't understand. And then when they are taking through the, 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 the way it works, mm -hmm. then in almost all the situations, they go away satisfied that it's not so much about WIAC, it's the grading system and also the performance of their candidates. Mm -hmm. Because mind you, if you are a local champion, let me put it that way, where you keep getting 80, 80, know that if someone else has been getting 99, then you pray that your 80 falls within the 4%. The 4%. Otherwise, you are going to get 2. And that doesn't mean you are not good. You are good, but others are better. Are better. Right. Yes. So this is where the issue is, and that is why social media went into flames. It means that there are more students this year that probably got a certain percentage ah, and got into that 4%. You are right. So maybe your child was getting 80% in school. It was still A. It was still but a. unfortunately, that 80% in Bayek with the Sinai uh, calculation will go into B, like a C. Yes. Uh, like like a, a, a 2. Yes, yes. A 2. Not Bayek in Bayek, but according, according to the to national grading system. National grading system. So we can't blame Bayek. No, it's, it's, it's the national grading, grading system. system. And with that, do we have any data to back how the performances have been across the years? Yes, so we can do that kind of statistics for us uh, okay. and share with you. Okay. Um, so I'm sure that uh, we will come back again and then bring that statistics and share with you. But mm. we, we for now have data on number of candidates that are presented uh, per region and so on and so forth. But I'm sure that we can carry this conversation forward to now look at uh, perhaps uh, the number of people who got one across uh, in a certain year and uh, for what it is worth in terms of how that will inform policy mm -hmm. or decision making by school proprietors and the candidates themselves. Uh, perhaps we can do that. And I guess uh, every system can be improved and can be dynamic mm. and so i think we should be looking at uh, something like that going forward all right now we also had some schools had their papers cancelled what do you uh, consider before you cancel a school's paper yeah thank you very much so um, we consider uh, the rules 
of the examination and the rules of the examination would have been made known ahead of time to school authorities and to candidates uh, that, for example, if you brought in foreign material, which you are not supposed to bring in, which we normally call apple, if you brought the apple in, the rules will say that um, your subject result will be cancelled in that particular subject. Let's say it's Ghanaian language or, or English. Once you are found with a foreign material or you are found to be colluding with other candidates, your subject result will be cancelled. So is it the school or the individual? What if it's an individual who took it no, in it's there? It's the individual. It's not the school. Okay. It's the individual. Okay. So you bear responsibility for your own sins. Let me put it Okay. Like okay. Yes. Okay. But you don't blame the school at all in this? No, we don't blame the school unless there is evidence to show that there is that organized um, mass cheating that has the support of the school authority. So some invigilators or some supervisors may be caught in the act. And in, in that regard, uh, you, you, are, you are arrested or punished for your own offense. So it could be school authorities and candidates, but it's based on the evidence. Mm. If the evidence doesn't point to school authorities' involvement, it will not be fair to involve them. But if the evidence points to school authorities' involvement, then by the WIAC Act, you know, persons involved in aiding or practice would have to, to answer. So it is to that extent, but otherwise, school authorities, um, uh, you know, we don't have to punish them for anything. It's the individuals it's that the we individuals. go for. Uh, let me actually say congratulations because this particular year, it looks like we didn't hear of leakages like we hear in the previous years. What did you do so different? Well, we did a number of things different. Uh, our security system was reviewed and uh, we decided that in terms of the questions and the options to choose from, we're going to do something. Okay. Uh, and so we did something, but you wouldn't expect me <laughs> to tell you all the details <laughs> because these are issues of security. And right. Yes, yes. Okay, so you won't tell us everything? No, please. Uh, we will keep some touches <laughs> so that we will help our candidates to focus and uh, not want to go around mm -hmm. the system. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes. But now the results are in. What's the next thing? Yes, uh, the next thing is for the candidates, school authorities, parents to embrace the results and uh, to go to the next step of the issue of placement mm -hmm. and all, which doesn't lie within YX domain, but then uh, I think that's the next level to embrace the results and then parents and school authorities and I'm sure the Ministry of Education will then take the issue of placement mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, from, from our hands and then deal with each other from there. So uh, that is what is next. Uh, and then also, of course, uh, we have uh, periods of engaging schools uh, to educate them, to brief them, to sensitize them. So WIAC doesn't just conduct the exam, but we engage in activities around ensuring the quality of the exam. And uh, I want to use this opportunity you've given uh, us as WIAC to say that we are available for sensitization. We are available to engage and explain how things work as far as examination assessment in terms of the marking and all is concerned. And I, I, I guess um, our doors are open, and uh, this time around, WIAC is coming out more and more. We want to be more engaging and uh, demystify the whole issue of examinations and assessment. So we are ever ready to receive you and to engage you. Are you ever ready to receive? If I come into your office and I tell you that my ward did well, maybe there's a system error. Is it possible? Possible to. To have a system error in the results? Well, I mean, let's say every human institution or every system will have uh, periods when things may not work well. Mm. And so, I mean, we are here in uh, Joy Prime. You do well. Uh, you may have one or two things mm -hmm. you, uh, to look at as you review your system. So to that extent, I'll say, why not? Uh, but generally, we are fine. And uh, I think uh, YX results... So there's a possibility of a system error with some of the results? Everywhere, there's a possibility of system errors. 
So by necessary implication, therefore, um, no one will say no, 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 mm -hmm, no. Mm -hmm. But just so that we don't have a wrong impression, I can assure you that um, largely, 90 over 90 percent, if I wouldn't uh, be exaggerating by saying 99 percent, we are fine. If there's any error, we are quick to notice it uh, and to correct it. Why could not deliver results that are not authentic? We are very, very particular about it. And if anyone writes to us, brings to our attention, uh, we have a customer care uh, unit. So I was going to yeah. ask because I know my viewers are watching yes, and yes. some of them might have, yes. you know, a little mixed feelings with yes. regards to the yes. results that are here. Yes. How do they approach YEC to get a check to know that there is no system error with the kind of results they have received? Yes, so uh, a number of, of, of ways. You can simply walk to YEC offices at Ridge. You come to the customer care uh, unit and then you engage and indicate what are your issues and then you'll be referred to the appropriate uh, department to be attended to. Uh, you can write to us, you can send us email, uh, you can get to our website, and then you would uh, get to know all our addresses. And so there are several avenues to engage us. You can call me, uh, you can call the head of public affairs, and so these things Oh, you, they can just pick your number and call you? Oh yes, I receive calls, head of public affairs receive calls, the media, you have been engaging us. Uh, but media is different from the general public. So if I have an issue and I'm watching the show right now and after the show, I can call you and tell you that I think that my work's results, there's something wrong with it. And you give me audience. Yes, I will give you audience and I'll refer you to the appropriate department. You, you don't have any cause uh, to be alarmed. You can call me uh, and then I'll give you audience. I can tell you, okay, come this day go to this uh, department and you'll be attended to. So oh. there's nothing mystical, nothing. Um, but is the process not cumbersome? It is not cumbersome. I can tell you that it's not cumbersome. Um, after I've left the studios, uh, you know, people can call me and say, look, we have these issues. And then they'll be referred to the appropriate uh, department. So WIAC is actually very engaging. Uh, and that's the way forward for us. We can assure that you should not be scared at all about engaging a wire. Can the individuals that had their papers cancelled appeal? Yes, of course. I mean, we have a system uh, that, you know, people can write to say we want, uh, you know, it to be looked at again. Uh, I've had friends who would have come up sometimes. You know, we are also in the, in, mm. in the community, mm -hmm. so we have friends. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a uh, church folks, we have uh, relatives. So, um, you know, people complain sometimes and we say, okay, come up, write, ask for uh, a relook. And I must say, almost invariably, you know, just a few days ago, last week, a friend of mine called me and says, uh, Reverend Brew, my daughter is not happy at all uh, because X, Y, Z. And I said, okay, this is the grading system. This is how it works. Mm -hmm. And then I said, do you want to call for a remise? So now I am okay. I will explain to her. So it's not so much that my daughter didn't do well. But if you look at the raw scores, if she had 80 and was in grade 2, she did well. And so at the next level of uh, secondary, uh, senior high school, it will show that she is good. And by university. So we should put the emphasis on the discipline, mm -hmm. the discipline that the children uh, should observe. And we should stay away as parents and school authorities from trying to, um, you know, put emphasis on the, should I say, the, the grade one at all costs to prove a point. Mm. The issue is not to prove a point. The issue is the child's strength. Should show. But if I don't get grade one, I might not get the school that I, des I, I wish to attend. Yes, I mean, uh, you know, sometimes people blow these things out of proportion, in my, in my humble opinion. Um, and who says that if somebody attends a certain school, that person will necessarily come out in a certain way? I attended Tema Secondary School. I went to KNUST. I went to the law school. 
And I can hold my own against anyone from anywhere in the world. Because intellectually, the issue is about the strength of your intellectual resource and argument. And I think we've got to put confidence in our children. And yes, we have to have a balanced approach to this whole issue of which school somebody attends. Maybe the ministry will be looking at the quality of teachers in, in those schools and across the board, various schools. That mm. conversation we can have. But I think we should really put confidence in our children. Parents should take responsibility and let the children know that, yes, you have this grade at this time, but you are good. Mm. You are good. So we can ask for the raw scores and get we to can know. Ask for the raw scores and get to Does know. it keep long for us to get the raw scores when we request for it? No, it doesn't keep long for you to get it. The raw scores. Okay, so for those in doubt, you can actually ask for the raw scores. I have some messages here. Good morning, Joy Prime. Please ask the YAC official, when will they release the withheld papers of some WASI candidates? I know we are not talking about WASI, but I think the person really wants to know about this. Okay, so, I mean, some have been released, and it's an ongoing process. Um, you know, sometimes what delays the process is people have to respond to our invitation to explain themselves, you know, um, and this is very important because you have to give them a hearing. It's, it's a semi, or we call it quasi-judicial process because we, we make judgments on whether people cheated or not. And so before you cancel or release, sometimes we call them to engage them so we can be sure that we are not punishing the innocent mm -hmm. and we are not letting go the guilty soul to speak. So sometimes we throw invitation and people take a long time to respond to the invitation and that delays it. Oh, and other okay. times the pieces of evidence we need may not be easily available. And so those are the processes, some mm -hmm. of the processes that would either delay it or make things work very quickly. Okay, so very I soon we are going to release them. <laughs> I'm right from Koforidi. I want to ask that is this the final results? Because on top of the paper, they've written provisional results. So I want him to explain that question for me. <laughs> yes, thank you, Bright. Is it Bright? Yeah, Bright. Yeah, thank you, Bright. Yes, so provisional results because, uh, you know, the results come out and sometimes people may ask for a review. Uh, sometimes, um, uh, you know, because some subjects are withheld and some, you know, are still going through the process of, uh, some are pending you know, and some are going through the process of we deciding. Mm -hmm. So provisional is pregnant. You know, provisional means provisional and more than provisional as one would think about it. It means we are sorting out something. So that couldn't be the final, final. Uh, some people may come and say, watch this. Uh, maybe in very minimal situations, something. So when will the final come out then? Well, the final will come out very, very soon. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, please, good morning, Joy Prime. Please ask Rev to explain why they put a disclaimer on the results. Oh, I'm not sure I understand this question. Okay, so disclaimer. please send in your message again so that we can be able to read for Rev to understand. Um, um, Sami, what grade does it need to get your first choice school? My goodness. Well, I mean, the point about this is uh, we test you. You prove yourself, you get the results, and uh, the next thing is to deal with CSSPS. If uh, you yeah, are CSSPS, and uh, see where your results take you. Uh, and uh, let me just counsel again that yes, we all, you know, I wanted to go to Achimota. Uh, my dad thought to my secondary school, so okay, I went there, I enjoyed the place. I am here today. I mean, so let's. Let's go for our first choice, yes, but let's not be so hooked to it. Because sometimes God gives opportunities at places that you may not, uh, you may not really mm -hmm. dream that you have those opportunities. Mm -hmm. So let's do well, but let's, let's, let's pray, let's allow our parents to do their bit. And then what we get, let's embrace it and move on with life. You know, I was asking about, you know, have it coming to see Wayek in case I have any issues. Now, there's another question coming from Lorita Latte, and she wants to know if she can ask for a remark. Definitely, you can ask for a remark. Uh, if you ask for a remark, uh, sometimes the marks, you know, the difference is such that, let's say in English, English is a subjective course. Maths, 
uh, as for maths, one plus one is equal to two. But English, uh, one examiner may decide that, okay, I'm impressed and the issue will be just maybe one mark, uh, uh, you know. But at a certain level, if the mark difference is so high, so high. then we admit that there may be some changes. But if it is not so high, and it's a subjective uh, subject like English, really, uh, one examiner may have added one to it, another may even deduct one. So you look at it and you say, okay, don't, don't look at everything because at a certain point you may say, okay, maybe this one they should have deducted one. So maybe you just hold it so that the person is not disadvantaged. But if the difference is huge, we definitely will do something about it. But I can promise you that most of the, uh, in most cases, uh, the, those who ask for way marking, when they are shown the way it's the, done. is done and how can they have this, they, are saying, they say, okay. And sometimes you go as far as bending very much mm -hmm. over backwards to give people room to engage us uh, at, at certain points, uh, you know, and they, they just get amazed. So I think, why not? If you really feel confident, I can come for a remark. Yes. I have a lot of messages. I'll come back into the messages and read all of them. Let's go on Zoom and speak with Mr. Kwesi Kwate, who is a PRO for Ministry of Education. Good morning, Kwesi. Kwesi, can you unmute yourself for us? Okay, so I'll, I'll take some messages and I'll come back to you, Kwesi, so that we can talk. Um, other messages coming in, please ask him what. Uh, that when are they going to release the schools? I mean the placement. Okay, this will go for Kwesi Kwate. But Lorita is also saying that I think we need to apply the grading system in the schools as well. Because, of course, yeah. I, I, I think it's about time, right? I think so, too. I think so. I, I, I guess this is quite insightful um, for the schools. Maybe they will speak for themselves. But I think it's best to get to apply a grading system that will show the true strength of your candidate so that you are not in wonderland mm -hmm. only to meet the champions in other places and all of a sudden you know you realize that your champion it's not is a champion anymore it's a champion but it's a champion in your school and and it's good to celebrate that champion but to to face the reality that others uh, may be better i mean you know, our football team goes... But isn't the 4% too low? Why, why not like a 5% or a 6%? Because the 2 is a 7%. So is the 4% not too low? Well, it's a policy issue, and I think it can be discussed yeah. at, at some forum. Uh, but WAEC is an implementing or assessment body that collaborates with government. So with this, the best place to discuss is with Ministry of Education. Is that it? That is it. The, the, the best place to discuss is with Ministry of Education, uh, educational policy makers, you know, and therefore the government for that matter. Mm. And I think, uh, you know, stakeholders, parents are stakeholders, you know, so it can, it, it's a national discussion, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. It should be because I don't understand why for grade one is only 4%, for grade two is 7 for grade three is what, 11%? 11 and I on, mean, so it's on. like we want them, so we've opened up for the failure rather than when we've closed up for the past. I'm not sure that is it. I think there will be some good policy considerations and aligning reasons which we may not be privy to. So I guess when we get a That conversation, we'll be able to get... Okay, more messages coming in. Good morning, please. Can a candidate whose results have been cancelled rewrite the exams this year? It's coming from Zachary from Sampani. We have a private BEC, and uh, I guess they can avail themselves of the private BEC. Uh, this year, there will be BEC. Um, the thing about it is that the numbers of the private BEC have been going down. So... The private BC is still an option for people to, to rewrite the BC if they feel they are not so excited about their, their results. But the question is, you see, your results, you, the raw scores will, may show that you are very good or you are good. So you, you need to be careful so that you don't berate yourself too much or you don't feel so despaired because you had to. Yeah. 
right. or three. It could well be that their cohort in a particular group, they all did so well that 100, 99, 98. So you can imagine if it's following mm -hmm. that way, you could get a three and be at 80. Right. Yes. And uh, you are good. <sighs> Wow, this is quite interesting. Hello, Joy Prime. Good morning, please. I'm Davidson. I want to ask, uh, why is it that some people's results changed when checked twice? I don't know where this person has the evidence to show, but, uh, uh, you know, I'm not disputing their experience, but I think we are talking to facts. Mm -hmm. And so it will be important for this to be backed by evidence, and then we can speak to it. Mm. Okay, so good morning. When is Wayek paying the BC examiners <laughs> now that the results have been released? Yes, uh, I think we had this conversation last week and we were in the media to explain right. that government was doing its bit. And I can say that as at Friday, um, we had received a check uh, and uh, the vouchers had been prepared. I'm sure by now some examiners have been called and they are smiling again. Uh, all the way getting ready to the bank. Mm -hmm. So that is not an issue I think we should worry about at this point in time. Okay. So please, what does um, pending in a particular subject means and when will a pending result be released? Before you answer this question, let me go to Savannah. Okay. All right. I'll come back to the phone line. We've activated the phone line, so we'll answer probably just about two or three phone calls. And then please don't call the WhatsApp line. And then we can have Rev answer all the questions. So Rev, um, please answer this one for us. He wants to know when the pen, what pending re in particular subject m means yes. and when will pending results be released as well? All right. So pending uh, means that there is some technical issue uh, with the results. You know, some registered um, with pre-tech BDT. I'm of the old school, uh, OA level, so I may not get, uh, uh, you know, the rendition correct. But sometimes people change. Uh, at you know very last point, uh, for example, in the was not BC, I had an experience where somebody didn't want to write government, mm -hmm. uh, but wanted to write I think geography, and had to change. And, you know when it comes about that way, you become an irregular candidate in that sense. So when we reconcile all of such candidates, we need to be sure that there's not something fishy going on, and that this is the same candidate who at the last minute changed. Okay. Uh -huh. You know, so there's one example. So mm -hmm. there could be those irregular situations. So in order for us to sort things out, when you check your result, you see W is withheld. That means there's an issue for you to answer in terms of a suspicion oh, of okay. examination or practice. But P is pending, which means there's a technical issue that we want to sort out and be sure. Uh -huh. And then you know, on and on. Okay. We'll find out when the pending will be released, but let me go on the phone line because Kwabana Ajekum is waiting for me. Hello. Good morning, Kwabana. Good morning. You're calling from Cantonese. Talk to us this morning. Okay. I'm very sorry. I joined the conversation late. I think I got a bit of it, but I want Reverend to get on that point again. Talk to you know with the raw scores. When are they going to be released and, and uh, where, are we, where can we access it? Is it going to be on our placement form so are we going to receive it when we get to the schools thank you that's my question okay rev do you understand y yes i oh, do right. understand uh, this is uh, something that um, I, I guess the exam department of WIAC and the uh, cssps have been engaging in fact we feed the the director of cssps with the data so it's something that uh, has been happening from WIEC to CSSPS, there's that collaboration. And so that shouldn't be an issue. Once you hear that CSSPS has opened its, uh, uh, maybe its portal or is ready to do business, then you know that the issues of uh, raw scores and all those things mm -hmm. uh, would have been sorted out. Mm. So um, just keep your ears open, your eyes on the ground, and uh, you know, you'll get to know the raw scores. Okay. Makoni, you're calling from Volta Region. Good morning. Good morning, madam. How are you? Good morning, Rev. I'm Good morning. Great. Talk yeah. to us. Uh, please want to ask a question. How can I, like, is there a number to find the raw score? 
Is there a number to find a raw score? Okay. Yeah. All right. right. Mm -hmm. Rev will answer that. Okay. Thank you very much. So, um, we go through the usual channels of, you know, getting to find out uh, this information. As I've said, you come to uh, our customer care unit, you call me, uh, you go to our website and find out the various addresses uh, by which you can reach us. And then you make us aware of your issues. And if it's about raw scores, uh, because you want remarking or you want to be sure, um, then I'm sure that we'll open our doors for you. But if it is just getting to know for knowing sake, I think, uh, you know, uh, we, we don't just allow people to know the raw scores, uh, you know, for knowing. There must be some reason. So CSSPS has to work and all that. You know, mm. uh, you are asking for remarking right. and all that. Mm. Yeah. I'll ask Rev my final question so he can go. Uh, I have a lot of messages. A lot. When I say a lot, I mean a lot, but don't worry at all. Uh, please ask Rev, how come the grading school system for private school is different from government school? That is not true. Uh, the grading system for private schools is not different from government schools. Again, it comes to this whole con uh, misconception about champions, local champions, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, some private schools have been able to uh, pitch their strength against other private and public schools and uh, they've come up tops. So uh, it's a misconception that is not the case. And I guess if there are problems, people can bring up their issues and will sort them out. So private schools believe that their grading system is tougher than the government schools. Yes, that is the, the misconception out there. I think a few years ago, we had a school from Kumasi where they very much believed that uh, they are, the, 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 the system used to grade them was different from what we used to grade every other, other school. And you know, you know, on the face of it, when you hear it initially and you, you don't work in WAIC or you don't have an appreciation of this, you tend to believe it. But how can WAIC take one grading system and use it for a certain private school, and then take another grading system and use it for another private school. I mean, you know, when you look at it and reflect on it deeply, you realize that it's just a misconception. Let mm. me advise us that, look, it's good to set up schools to make some money, but commercialization of education affects quality and drives uh, proprietors in a certain direction where the issue is my school might show that it is getting high grace in order for the numbers to come in. Whilst people sending numbers to your school is not bad in itself, but your motivation for the high grades uh, should not be necessarily, should I say, commercial because there's a temptation that if you are driven by commerce, you may then not pay attention to uh, quality. There's a way in which uh, over commercialization affects quality and we may have that conversation another time but if you permit me I may say that in conclusion uh, the advice is to all of us parents, candidates, uh, policy makers and the public at large. Look, people are to learn and uh, imbibe discipline. Mm. When you obtain a resource the implication is that this candidate has disciplined himself and has come out tops. I think that is where our focus should be. I want to plead with parents and I want to plead with all of us that let's look at the discipline that examinations and education instills in these our young ones. Let's avoid examination more practice. Let's not influence uh, the, 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 the performance in the exam room mm -hmm. so that we will be sure that their resource is a true reflection of their discipline and their performance. Then we deliver great human resource for this nation and then the economy will take its place of pride. All right. I want to leave these uh, humble thoughts with your listeners. Thank All you right. very much. Thank you so much. And uh, Rev, we, we are very grateful that you could make it because... Uh, the message is coming in. I'm glad that you've rounded up the conversation to let them understand that 
you know what, it's not about that. But what you have to do, if you have any, you know, qualms with regards to the results, Rev says well, you can call on Wayek anytime. You can go there, sit down with them. They'll open it up for you to see the raw scores, and then you understand with the grading system. So don't worry at all. Wayek's doors are open for you. Just go to their offices. They'll serve you. Rev, thank you so much for being here today. My pleasure. We are very grateful. And his name is Reverend Victor Brew. He is the head of legal at Wayek. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, I have some students who have made it right here in the studio. Stay with us.